Thank you for joining us in learning how to enter sales tax returns via MyPath. Sales tax returns now may be filed on MyPath, which can be accessed at mypath.pa.gov. Once you access the MyPath screen and get logged in, Once logged in, you will have to enter through the two-step verification and confirm. Once you are on the screen, you will see the sales and use tax account and their filing access for this account. It is quarterly. Also, you see the sales license account. New to MyPath, you have been granted a 11-digit account ID with the corresponding eight-digit account ID that you were used to in eTides when it was retired. All correspondence will contain the eight digit account ID. Once you're ready to file your return, you will go ahead and hit view returns and periods. And you can select from the periods that are available. This column, you see the period. This is the return type that you are filing, the status of the return and the option to file now. For this purpose, I'm going to file the December 31st, 2022 period by selecting the File Now link. You will answer through the questions before you get to the taxable sale entry. Do you wish to have PA sales to report? You select yes. Do you wish to include Philadelphia tax jurisdiction, Allegheny tax jurisdiction, Philadelphia hotel occupancy? For this demo, I would go ahead and select yes to these three jurisdictions. Are you including Clean Indoor Air Act schedule? Yes. Are you claiming any tax paid purchases resold TPPR credits for this tax period? Go ahead and select yes. Once these have been answered, you can continue to select next. New to my path also, you will have the option to go back to a previous screen by two options, through the breadcrumb trail located at the top or by hitting the previous button. If you go back through the breadcrumb trail, you will be taken back where your answers have been saved on the original screen. If I hit next, it'll take me back. Um, also by hitting previous, your answers are also stored on the first page. Go ahead and select next, and this will bring you to the screen where you can enter your taxable sales. Go ahead and enter the taxable sales for each jurisdiction. Once you enter the gross and net taxable sales, the total amount due will automatically pre-populate on the return for you. If sales tax was collected over the 6% or the percentage for the jurisdiction, you will have the option to increase the taxable a tax amount of tax due collected. If the return is timely, you will automatically see your discount populate, then subtracting out to get the net taxable sales. You have the option to enter use tax, E911 fees. Again, for E911 fees, if the tax return is timely, you, uh, the discount for E911 will automatically pre-populate, providing you the E911 net fee tax due automatically. Once you calculate all your, enter all your fees due, tax and fees, total tax and fees due will automatically populate for you. When entering TPPR credits, you enter the amount in the appropriate field with the deduction to the amount due. Now bring it to 70,910. Once Pennsylvania has been entered, you can move on to Philadelphia 2% tax fields and enter your selection. Again, like Pennsylvania column, your total amount of tax due will automatically calculate with the ability to increase if more tax was collected than the 2%. Timely filed return, discount automatically pre-pops along with the net sales tax due. Entering use tax. As you can see, you cannot enter E911 fees 
in Philadelphia, E911 fees only apply to Pennsylvania. This would be the same for Allegheny and the Philadelphia hotel occupancy tax. If you had TPPR credits to be used in Philadelphia, 2%, you can enter those on the screen. And then the appropriate box and it will deduct from the amount due. Moving on to Allegheny 1%, you can go ahead and enter their gross sales. Enter net taxable sales, which will automatically calculate your total amount due, your discount if timely, and also the net sales tax due. You can go ahead and enter use tax. If you had TPPR credit, you can go ahead and enter that here, deducting again like the other jurisdictions from the total amount due. Once you have entered the Allegheny 1% taxable sales, we'll move on to the Philadelphia Hotel occupancy sales, enter the gross amount, enter the net taxable sales. Total amount of tax due will automatically pre-pop for you off the based upon the 1% tax collection. If you collected tax above the 1%, you go ahead and enter that change in here. For timely returns, the discount will automatically be calculated and then automatically calculating your net sales tax due. You have the option to enter use tax. E911 fees do not apply for local jurisdictions. So we'll go ahead and enter any TPPR credits, which automatically deduct from the amount due. Once all your taxable sales have been entered, you have a few options. You can select next to continue if everything's correct. Previous to go back if you need to correct any previous screen or save draft. Save draft option will allow you to continue editing, finish later or printable view. If I select the continue editing option, it takes you directly back to the screen for the taxable sales entry. If I hit save draft again, I have the option to finish later. When you finish later, it takes you back to the returns and periods springboard. December 31st, 2022 was the return we were previously filing. You now see that your status for this return is draft and you have the option to view submission. By view submission in the top right hand corner, you can have the option to continue editing or delete. If you delete, you will need to start entry from the beginning. If I select continue editing, it takes you back to the beginning of the return, but all questions and answers were saved. By selecting next, you will also see that any taxable sales for Pennsylvania and local jurisdictions have been saved for you also. If I select next, this screen will take you for those who enter CIAA entries you have the option to select the type of establishment that's requesting exemption. For this demonstration purpose, I will select a drinking establishment, type two bar. For these fields, your gross and taxable sales cannot exceed the gross and taxable sales that were listed on the sales taxable entries for Pennsylvania and the local jurisdictions. Go ahead and enter the gross sales. To enter total food sales within permitted smoking area. And total on premise consumption food sales within permitted smoking area. After those entries have been entered, select next. Now you will see you have been taken to a review return screen. This lists out the total amount of tax due for Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Allegheny, Philadelphia hotel occupancy, any previous payments that were made to the department and recorded. Previous payments do not apply to payments received by the department, but not yet processed. Carry forward credits or any credit that was on the account that has moved to the current period. After those, 
previous payment and credit fields have been deducted, you will notice your total payment due. If these uh, values appear to be correct, please proceed with your submission. That would be by pressing the next button. If these values appear to be incorrect, please return to the previous steps to correct the information. Previous steps can be gained by the breadcrumb trail or the previous button. Everything looks good for this return purpose, so we're going to go ahead and select next. This return has a balance due of $91,410. Would you like to make an ACH debit payment now? If you select no, you will have the option to pay by check for those return payments due under $1,000, and a payment voucher can be requested and printed upon submission of this return. For returns that have a balance due over $1,000, you have the option to select ACH credit information, or you can go ahead and select ACH debit. When selecting ACH debit payment now, you will be prompted to enter checking and savings information, a routing number, and a banking account number, and then again to confirm the bank account number. Once that has been entered, you have the option to save this payment channel for future use. If you select yes, you also have the option to use a default name or your own name. Once moving on to the payment amount and date, you will notice that the payment date will automatically default to today's date. Sales tax returns have the option to pre-date a return payment up until the due date. For this demo, this is a December 2022 return and payment with the due date of January 20th, 2023. We will go ahead and select to pre-date this payment. Sales tax returns also will allow a payment up to the amount of tax due or an amount less. The payment amount cannot exceed the amount of tax due. For this return purpose, we will enter the amount of tax due of 91,410. Once all the banking and payment information have been, en been entered correctly, you can go ahead and submit the return. You will need to all acknowledge the confirmation screen, select OK. Once you have submitted the return and payment, you will be provided with a confirmation screen. Confirmation screen will list the confirmation number, the filing period of the return, the submission type is for a sales and use and hotel occupancy tax return, the submitted date and time, the amount due for the return, the payment effective date, the payment amount. This, there is also the printable view.